In this question we see that Sarah has a rectangular photo that is 30 centimeters by 40 centimeters. She wants to build a frame of uniform width around the outside of it and she can afford 624 centimeters, of, centimeters squared of wood for the frame. We want to know how wide the frame will be. Well it's good to have a diagram to help us picture what's happening. You can see this 30 by 40 in black represents Sarah's photo and um, we know that it's a uniform width and what that means is all the way around the photo the width of the frame will be the same and since that's what the question is asking us for what is that width we're gonna let that be X so you can see there's a little X here this width is X this width is X that width is X and that width is X well we can then see therefore that this blue line across the top isn't just 40 the black line is 40 but the blue line is 40 plus an X on each side so here's an X and here's an X okay and those are both X's and so this is an X that's an X and so what we have is 40 plus X plus X or in other words 40 plus 2X and similarly along this side we see that we've got 30 in black, but the reds are X. So this is X plus 30 plus X, meaning that this line here is 30 plus 2X. So the blue uh, rectangle, the bigger one, is 40 plus 2X times 30 plus 2X in area. So we get on with our solution with a much simpler diagram. 40 plus 2x times 30 plus 2x for the blue and the interior one is 40 by 30. Well what we're going to do now is calculate the area of that outer rectangle. The outer rectangle, the blue one, is 40 plus 2x times 30 plus 2x and using our powers of distribution we see 40 times 40 is 1200, 40 times 2x is 80x, 2x times 30 is 60x, 2x times 2x is 4x squared. And um, collecting our like terms and reordering our terms, we see that's the same as 4x squared plus 140x plus 1200. So that outer blue rectangle has an area of 4x squared plus 140x plus 1200. Well, let's see what the area of the inner rectangle is. The inner rectangle is simply 40 times 30, which is 1200. The inner one, the black one, 40 times 30. Well, we know that the frame is going to be equal to the outer rectangle minus the inner rectangle. Okay? The frame is everything along the outside. Remember the picture was 40 by 30 and this represents the frame. So we know that if we could somehow calculate this bigger rectangle and subtract this smaller rectangle, we'd have the area of just the frame. Well, we know that the area of the outer rectangle is 4x squared plus 140x plus 1200 and we know the area of the inner rectangle is 1200 so doing that subtraction like we just said gives us an area for the frame of 4x squared plus 140x okay well from the question in the question it said that the area of the frame was going to be 624 because it said that she could afford 624 centimeters squared of wood so we know that this area of the frame is equal to 624. So 4x squared plus 140x equals 624. We're going to write that again at the top of the page. 4x squared plus 140x equals 624. And then we're going to remember that when you're trying to solve a quadratic equation, you want to let one side of it equal 0. If you want to be a quadratic hero, let one side equal 0. And the way we're going to do that is subtract 624 from both sides, and we have 4x squared plus 140x minus 624 equals 0. Well, don't forget, you always want a common factor first in this situation. Common factor first, CFF. Well, CFF is your BFF. So make sure you common factor first each time. Common factoring out that 4, we're left with x squared plus 35x minus 156. Okay? Now, we want to see if we can factor this trinomial. 
Well, two numbers that add to 35 and multiply to negative 156 are positive 39 and negative 4. So, setting this factor equal to 0 gives us x equals negative 39, and setting this factor equals to 0 uh, gives us x equals 4. Well, we cannot have a width of negative 39, so this is what's called an extraneous root. So we don't have to consider that one, and we see that x is 4. So that means that's the width of the frame, 4 centimeters.